Welcome to the Greater Las Vegas Center for Spiritual Living. Hello, I am Ann Isley, a visitor minister in training from Southern California. A lot of information will be coming from this month's book, We Were Made for These Times by Kara Jewel Lingo. At the age of 25, Kara became a Buddhist nun. She gave all of her material possessions away, shaved her head, wore simple robes, and practiced celibacy. Kara moved from Chicago to a rural countryside of France. For 15 years, she lived in a community founded by Thich Nhat Hanh. We will explore how to thrive during major life transitions and challenges with clarity and compassion. I will introduce three ways of approaching challenges. First, staying present. All of us go through times of transition, challenges, and difficulties. When we are experiencing times of loss, confusion, and or heartbreak, we realize, and sometimes too late, we cannot control life. All we can do is to stay present, mindful. With mindfulness, we can learn to be present with the pain, allowing our pain to move us into new realities. By becoming one with God, we can heal we can learn to move through these intense, challenging times in ways that don't add suffering or difficulties. We can even learn to open our hearts to the richness and the wisdom these times can bring us. Our founder, Ernest Holmes said, choose your reality by conscious thinking or by mindful thinking. One of the main themes of these four week talks is mindfulness. Mindfulness is being present in this moment. Science of mind uses many terms to describe mindfulness, such as going inward, being aware, or listening to your inner spirit. One of the ways of being mindful is to bring our minds back into our body, which is our true home. Kara calls this coming home. Coming home to ourselves feels like belonging, it's a state that holds us and enables us to hold others. Thich Nhat Hanh sums his whole lifetime of teaching with this phrase, I have arrived. I am home. If we are not aware of what is happening in this moment because we are caught up in our thoughts, in the grip of worry or other strong emotions, we have left our home. What happens when we leave our home for too long? Dust accumulates or and Unwanted visitors take up residence. Similarly, if we don't stay connected or aware in this present moment, it, if we are worrying or dreading the future or trying to change the past, we have left our home. When we bring 
our mind back to our body, our inner spirit, we come home. The beauty of mindfulness is we can return home to ourselves at any time. Our home is always there waiting for us. The only way to move through difficult and challenging challenges is to go inward. Or by quoting from the book, the only way out is in. In science of mind, we believe that everything is created in the present moment. What we think we create, the future is made of this moment. Let me give you an analogy to illustrate how to stay in the here and now, this, th this present moment. Imagine you are standing on a train station's platform. The platform represents the here and now. You want to stay on the platform and just watch the trains of your thoughts and plans come and go. You don't want to jump on a thought train that is heading to the future or heading to the past. If you stay on the platform observing the trains coming and going, you are in the present moment and being mindful. The second point I'll explore is being open-hearted. One of the ways it becomes second nature is to pause during the challenges. Get quiet and go inward and allowing yourself to remain open-hearted. In order to remain open-hearted, we have to have faith and trust of the unknown. A wonderful example of trusting and having faith is Alan Watts's analogy of a cat falling out of a tree. When a cat falls, it lets go of itself. It completely relaxes and lands lightly on the ground. But if the cat suddenly decides, I want to fall out of the tree, it becomes tense and rigid, and the landing will result in the cat becoming a bag of broken bones. Instead of living in a state of chronic tension and clinging to all sorts of thing, be like a cat. Have faith and trust the unknown. Let go, let God. Unfortunately, our tendency is to cling to things when we feel out of control. However, only by being open-hearted, having faith, can we move through life's transitions and challenges. So, how do we let go, let God, especially when we're facing big life decisions, such as which career path to take, whether to separate or stay with our partner, how do we get our finances in shape or improve our health? What happens when you constantly think about something? It goes around and around and around in your head until you spin out of control. Thich Nhat Han said, don't try to figure out the answer by thinking about it. 
Or as Albert Einstein, Einstein said, no problem can be solved from the same consciousness that created it. These big life decisions can't be resolved at the level of the mind. It must be entrusted to a different, deeper part of our consciousness. Both Ernest Holmes and Karen Lingo use the analogy of planting a seed. For Kara, the seed is planted in rich soil of our mind. Nurturing it and allowing it to grow without digging it up and checking on it. It is nurtured in our mindful practice. In science of mind philosophy, we plant the seed in the soul of our inner spirit. The seed is planted with affirmation prayer, knowing that it is done. By knowing it is done, we don't doubt ourselves or said, say it another way, or we don't keep digging it up, but instead we allow it to burst into our consciousness. By remaining open-hearted, we're able to hear our inner voice. Once our path forward is disclosed, we must act on it. Think of a time when you were really stuck and needed to complete something. You kept trying to push through it, to get it completed, but it just wasn't flowing. Instead of pushing and pushing yourself or throwing up your hands and saying, I quit, I can't do this, hit the pause button and realize that you are trying to solve the problem with that same consciousness that created it. Allow me to share a personal story. When I was in college studying for my engineering degree, most of my coursework involved solving complex problems. Quite frequently, I would get stuck and spend hours trying to figure a problem out. I would get to the point where I would just quit. I knew it was futile for me to sit there any longer. So I would get up from my desk and relax by going for a run or taking a nap. By relaxing, I was changing my consciousness. Within an hour, uh, or sometimes it took till the next day, I would have solved the problem. When we let ourselves trust the unknown, there is enormous potential for life to unfold in amazing and unexpected ways. Rather than avoid and fear this place of uncertainty, you can embrace it and all its gifts. What is meant by the saying, let go, let God? When you let go, you surrender. Remember, relax like a cat falling. Let go, let God. No, you will land gently. The third point is accepting of changing life circumstances. The first step to any change is acceptance. Before we can change or move through any of life's circumstances, we must acknowledge and accept the current situation. 
As long as we're in denial, nothing will change. Whatever we resist, persist. A fulfilling life is not a life without suffering. It's knowing how to handle the suffering. The measure of our accomplishment or success is not that our life didn't have challenges, but how we handled the challenges. It's not about avoiding suffering, but learning how to take good care of ourselves. Buddha's teaching, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. The Buddhists taught that when pain comes to us, it's like we are hit with an arrow. When we resist our pain and get stuck in the blaming and judging, we are shooting ourselves with a second arrow in the same spot, and it's much more painful than the first. Let me give you this final example. Aja Chen, a Buddhist monk and a teacher, asked his students when they were passing a big boulder, do you think the boulder is heavy? His students said, yes, it's extremely heavy. Then Aja Chang said, only if you try to pick it up. We can avoid unnecessarily picking up boulders when we let go of fighting the challenges and instead live with clarity and compassion. We come home. We stay present, we being open-hearted, and thirdly, accepting the changing of life circumstances. Meditation is a good way to connect with the present moment. In our meditation tonight, we will have the opportunity to come home. We'll go into the meditation but first, let's pray. So if it's comfortable for you, please close your eyes. And if not, just take a nice soft gaze. And if it feels good, you can keep your eyes closed and we'll go into the meditation. So please close your eyes with me. And take a deep breath as we center ourselves in the presence of the Divine Spirit. The Divine Spirit that's in and through everything and everyone. The Divine Spirit that's throughout nature. And we see so clearly this time of year and all the budding trees and lovely flower the explosion of spring. God, divine spirit, is in and around us. We are one with this divine spirit. We are exploding into our spring, brightening up the world. We come home and connect to our inner spirit and allow our gifts just to flow easily and effortlessly. We are one with God, with everything. I am so grateful for this opportunity to just connect and inspire and go inward. And I'm grateful for the change of season and the change of the winds. And I'm so blessed to be able to feel that inner guidance, that inner wisdom. And I gently and easily release this into the universal spirit, that universal law that only says yes. And so it is. Amen. 
Let's move in to our meditation. Accepting what is by coming home. Being mindful in the present moment. Let's practice connecting with our present moment experience. Sit in a comfortable position. Let's move in to our meditation. Accepting what is by coming home. Being mindful in the present moment, connecting with our breath. Just sit in a comfortable position that supports you to be alert and also relaxed. You're welcome to have your eyes open, taking a soft gaze or keeping them closed. Let's occupy this moment. If there are parts of ourself somewhere else in some other time, past or future, invite them all to come back. We are in the here. We'll be the now. Settling into just being here. With all the turmoil that may be in your life, still you can breathe in and out with the present, recollecting yourself. Feel your body. Feel the contact between your body and whatever else. Let's move into our meditation, accepting what is by coming home. You are welcome to have your eyes opened or closed. If you keep your eyes open, choose a spot a few feet in front of you to, and gaze softly. Take a couple of deep breaths and check to see if there are parts of yourself somewhere else in some other time, past or future. Invite them to come back. Be here. Be in this present moment. Settle into just being here with all the turmoil that may be in your life. Still, you can breathe in and out with presence, recollecting yourself. Feel the contact between your body and whatever surface is supporting you. Let yourself rest in this place, returning to this moment, the here and now. Once again, invite whatever parts of yourself that may still be dispersed to come back and settle. Allow the in-breath and the out-breath to flow naturally. Experience how the breath arrives. What happens as you breathe in, feel the out breath. Just does what it does quite naturally. Breathe in, aware of the body. Breathe out, allowing the body to rest, calming the body. Aware of the in-breath, calming, resting with the out-breath. If, if you notice that your mind wanders to thinking, planning, or worrying, acknowledge that it's happening, 
know you can return to focus on your thoughts later, but for now, engage with the exercise of attending to the moment, to this moment. Inhale and open up to the awareness that this present moment is enough, that what we need is already here. As you exhale, practice accepting that life is as it is in this moment. Allow it to be here just as it is. Inhaling the sense of enoughness, of contentment, that actually things are okay right here, right now. We don't need any more. Exhaling acceptance of how things are. Breathing in enoughness. Breathe out acceptance. Breathing in enoughness. Breathing out acceptance. If your mind wanders, just repeat that. Breathe in I dwell in the present moment. Breathe out. I see that it's a wonderful moment. Present moment, wonderful moment. Take in the fullness of life the many truths of this moment. Affirm the beauty in the wonder of it in the midst of all the difficulty and suffering. We practice accepting our situation as it is. Whatever the awkwardness, discomfort, suffering, loss, or grief, we can open ourselves to it, not resist it or push it away. That helps the pain already begin to lessen straight outward. Let your body physically soften the resistance the tension, any blame or judgment. Just release. We sit quietly in acceptance, breathing in and out and not shooting ourselves with a second arrow. Now, allow yourself to settle back and rest, opening to whatever is here in your body, in this present moment. Allow your heart to be open to the insight you are accepting of what is right here and right now. Just breathe it in and out.
We are going to come back now to the present. Pat your body to bring your awareness to the here and now. Just follow my voice back. Feel your feet on the ground. Maybe just shake your fingers in your arms. Move your shoulders. And when you feel ready, open your eyes or release your soft gaze. Thank you and have a blessed day. Here at Center for Spirits Living Greater Las Vegas, we are a mission and vision driven community. We offer transformative educational opportunities, deep and meaningful moments of connection, uplifting Wednesday and Sunday services, we greatly appreciate your contributions that support the amazing work we're doing here in Southern Nevada. We have several easy ways you can contribute. We have text to give. Simply text the amount of your donation to our text to give number and you'll be prompted to enter your information. There's a link to our online donation page posted below this video where you can contribute by debit or credit card. And of course, you're always welcome to send a check to our office if that works better for you. All of your contributions go to support the great work that we're doing here in Greater Las Vegas community. I'm choosing heaven today. I'm choosing heaven today. from CSL GLV vocalists along with special guest singers. It's music for your soul. Subscribe to the CSL GLV YouTube channel to get a convenient link sent to you for each musical performance. 
At CSL Greater Las Vegas, it is our mission to inspire spiritual discovery through community connection, exploration, and celebration. This mission supports the all-inclusive vision of Centers for Spiritual Living worldwide in which we envision a world that works for everyone and all of creation. 